Hi right, guys, what's going on? So I'm here with a tip that might help you catch a higher number of certain species of fish. It is jigging. It kind of seems like a lot of people don't don't know how to effectively use it, and I'm here to help you with that. So um, jigging has allowed me to catch two diamond burbot, one in Norway and one in Golden Ridge. Uh, two diamond zander, both in Spain, a diamond thick lip in Spain, two diamond bluegill in Golden Ridge. It is a very effective tool for certain species of fish that will allow you to catch a higher volume of fish because as we know there are certain species of fish that just bite super slow on a float setup. Pumpkin seed, um, the mullets, burbot are next to impossible to catch on a float setup. Um, Xander bites super slow on all of these uh, on float setups. Jigging is the way to go. There's a couple different methods. You can jig across the top or you can jig as it sinks and jig all the way back in. I use the sinking method mostly on Xander. I will use it some on Burbot and I will use it some on some of the pan fish in Golden Ridge. For the most part, I just pull it across the top of the water. Um, for the mullets and Xander and sometimes on the burbot, I reel in on two speed. All of your little pan fish and everything like that, I reel in on a one speed. So I will show you what to look for in the handbook to know if your fishes can be jigged for. And then I will kind of show you how slow they are with float fishing versus how fast they are with jigging. So. Let's move over here. So if you go in your handbook, let's go to thin lip because I'm in a thin lip location. Dough, red worm, minnow, cheese, bread, tube. Tube is what you want to look for. Go down here and look at Xander, minnow, grub, shad. Grub and shad are both jigging lures. So it's a very effective way to catch a high volume of fish in a short amount of time. So currently right now the pole I have is set up on tube so let's throw the tube out there and see what we can come up with so I'm just going to jig it across the top now what I like to do whenever I'm fishing whether it's float fishing or jig fishing oh look there's already a fish heading towards it is I start on the right and I start casting across or I start on the right and I cast until I don't get a fish and if I don't get a fish then I will move over a few move over a little bit and start casting then <clears throat> so look at that we already got a fish and I have been doing this for about 10 seconds 15 seconds we'll throw this back out there and see what we can come up with so when you're reeling in on, say you're reeling in on a two speed, you can see that that fish was having a hard time to catch up. Don't be afraid to drop it down to a one speed and allow him to catch up. There, what was that? Five seconds, maybe 10 seconds, and I already caught a second fish. We'll get him reeled in, we'll catch one more. And currently, right now, what I'm using is a size eight hook, and I will use a size eight hook for both. We're going to let that one sink a little bit. I will show you that they will continue to bite on that. I'm just going to leave it sitting on a one speed. Let's see what we can come up with. I, I see one out there by it. Oh look, there's one swimming over towards it right now. So in what? A minute? Maybe a minute? I've caught three fish. There we go. All right, now let's switch over to the float setup. And I got this one set up. It's a size eight with minnow. We'll cast out there. We will see how long it takes for a fish to come up to it. At the most, that was three fish in a minute. Now, 
let's see how long the float setup takes. You see, I didn't change location. I continue to cast in the same spot. Uh, he was a bronze, so he's not going to pay any attention to it. So, like I said, I will vary between a 1 or a 2 speed depending on how the fish are acting. Sometimes I let it sink, sometimes I cast across the top. Kind of mix it up because the bigger fish tend to be down lower than the uh, small fish. And what I will do a lot of times is I will have one rod set up with like a silver hook or maybe even a bronze hook cast that around starting on the right cast until I don't catch a fish move a little bit over and I'll normally do that about five times and then I will so I will go around the horn twice and then I will throw out my big hook and see what happens so we have been here for uh, almost a minute and a half and have absolutely nothing swimming over it is taking an extremely long time to attract a fish I will even reel in move over a little bit and recast out and see if that makes a difference and I know I got some swimming down here I'm just trying to show full cast sw out there and let's see what happens. We'll give this a few more minutes and see if it comes up with anything. This is this is one of the drawbacks. Float fishing works really good for these fish if you're spot fishing them. You see a big one swimming, you can have a float set up. You can just throw it out there beside them. And most of the time you can attract or you can get their attention but for the pumpkin seeds and the Xander and the mullets and these type of fish like this float fishing is extremely slow extremely slow I I feel like this pretty much illustrates my point you will eventually get a bite let's reel it in we'll see if we can't catch one of these that is sitting here in this area oh that one might be swimming towards my bait maybe oh now he's finally caught my bait has finally caught his attention finally You, do you see how painfully slow this is? Like, you could, you could balance your checkbook, cook dinner. It, this is very slow. So we'll get him reeled in. And then just for giggles, I will throw the two back out there. In the exact same location and see what this see what it comes up with so let's switch over to the tube again full cast to speed and let's see how fast we catch a fish's attention I have a feeling we're going to catch a fish's attention pretty quick And look, we got a fish zooming over. Drop it down to a one speed so he has time to catch up, and there he is. So, that is my spiel on how to catch certain fish faster. The biggest thing you have to do, go into your handbook and see if they will bite on two or grub or shad any of those baits 
will if they will bite on that it will increase your bite rate for these fish it it is a very useful tool to use to help you catch more fish and in turn hopefully help you catch more diamonds so with that being said if you like what you've seen like subscribe comment tell me if it works for you tell me how big a fish you caught off of it and it if you enjoy what you see, make sure you let me know. And with that being said, I will catch you on the next one. Peace.